the coaches from the Chicago Bulls, head coach Bill Jackson. The 1994 All-Star MVP Award from the Chicago Bulls, Scotty Pippen. His second All-Star appearance from the Orlando Magic, Anthony Hardaway. Three-time NBA Most Valuable Player, three times Final MVP, and seven-time NBA Scoring Champ from the Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan. NBA Eastern Conference All-Star. The steal by Pippen. Hardaway. Jimmy the East, a 6-4 lead. That's said to be a doubtful because of a lower back problem, and he told us no way he would miss this. Michael Jordan able to line drive at home. It will not set an NBA All-Star record. The record is 44-7. Michael Jordan getting down. Back in 1989, to a fast start on the comedy meter. Also during the player introductions, check this out. As Penny Hardaway was uh, introduced to the crowd, Michael unzipping the warm-up pants. Well, and uh, Penny not holding any grudges has been looking for Michael. Uh, every time out on the floor, passed up a layup to dish off an easy one for Michael Jordan. Caught him on a breakaway as those two have clicked so far early in this ballgame. But you know, at four minutes remaining in the first quarter, one point the East hit ten consecutive shots. Jordan got the pick. Yes, Michael Jordan providing a two-point lead for the East. Thanks, Mark. Speaking of cutting up, man, what was the whole deal with pulling Anthony's pants down on the warm-up? Well, I've done it a couple of years. I did it to Joe Dumas one year, but it all started when someone did it to me when my first couple of years. So I, I decided to pass it along. But you know, I think what it showed is that when you came back now, you have a much more loose attitude about playing this game of basketball. Yeah, I feel better about my, my, my whole attitude towards the game and towards, you know, some of my responsibilities to the game. And I enjoy being around the young players. You know, I mean, a lot of those guys are very exciting, and I enjoy them. All right. I'll see you later on. Come on back and talk to me. All right. All right, Marv. First quarter comes to a close. Michael Jordan, a four for four, eight point first quarter. And well, the West with 17 turnovers. Michael Jordan with the... With the touch, he's 5 of 5. He has 10 points. Eight with a 61-58 lead on the West. And both clubs are back to the starting lineups. Grant Hill, Scotty Pippen, Shaquille O'Neal up front, Michael Jordan, Penny Hardaway at the guard. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. with 12 points. And doubt the 81 that he gave the last time we heard him say <laughs> go, go. Yes, and it counts. Well, oddly enough, Drexler is going to get the first one here on a clean block of beauty, but Shaq stays with it. You know, Akeem Olajuwon had been saying for some, uh, quite some time that he didn't think he should start in this game. He thought David Robinson should get the starting nod, especially since it was home, his hometown. I think there was also a method to Akeem's madness. I don't think he wanted to bang around with Shaquille O'Neal early in the first and third quarter. Scrimmaging. He felt that uh, a lot of these players had not played in a few days. Wanted to get them used to running up and down the floor, passing and catching and getting a feel for each other's timings. And so far it's paid off. Was he working on the full court pressure at that time? I did not see that, and I did not see the triangle offense, although Scotty Pippen desperately wanted to put that in. He just told <laughs> him behind the back on Kidd. Hardaway, back for two. Oh. Is it fun to play with Penny Hardaway? Kid, go, get it back. Michael had the tongue wagging all the way. And that leads to a West timeout. 
George Carl wants to talk it over. 8-18 remaining in the third quarter. The East now up by 11. Here's the give and go between two of the best, Hardaway and Jordan. And Michael puts it down. Get all the way to the basket. Well, you also got to remember he's being guarded by Barkley. <laughs> And it's Shaquille with a big third quarter, 11 of the 16 of the first. To get control of the ball in order, and it's done it most of the time this year with perimeter shooting and a lot of post ups that he has. He's developed a, a, a fadeaway jump shot and only going to the basket when needed, coming down the stretch of ball games. Michael coming off a 40 point 11 rebound game at Golden State on Wednesday night for the 42-5 Chicago Bulls. The East by 15. Peyton played by Rice, who just checked in. Here is Richmond. It's Richmond not able to find the lane. Jordan with 20 points. Able to finish off the break. Here's Robinson. Could not convert. Now this is, hold on, uh, Peyton, sorry, this is an explosive Jordan, though. Still going for that slam dunk. I mean, that head was right around uh, the cylinder. And the East has outscored the West 27-13 here in the third as Michael Jordan sits down. Back in San Antonio, the East with the victory over the West. Now for the announcement of the winner of the Most Valuable Player Award. Let's go to Ahmad Rashad. It is now time to make the presentation to this year's NBA All-Star MVP. And to make that presentation, the commissioner of the NBA, David Stern. Thank you, San Antonio, for being such gracious hosts and hostesses. And thank you, Michael Jordan, for winning your second MVP, 20 points, four rebounds. It's nice to have you back. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, Michael, this time, it seems to me you really enjoyed yourself this time. I had a good time. Uh, quite naturally, it's unexpected. You know, I had a good time. I think everybody had a good time. Shaq played extremely well. I thought he was the MVP. I think he could have easily been. David Robinson, I think you had you were a great host. I think this weekend turned out to be a great weekend, and I had a good time. All right, congratulations to you. Thank you. All right, back to you, Mark. High point man with 25. Michael Jordan with 20. Penny Hardaway, 18. Grant Hill at 14. David Robinson and Gary Payton led the West with 18 points. Michael Jordan, the MVP. Again, the final, the East 129 of the West 118. The NBA on NBC returns next Sunday with a doubleheader starting with Showtime at 12.30 Eastern. In Game 1, Michael and the Bulls take on Reggie and the Pacers. In Game 2, most of you will see Akeem Olajuwon of the world champion Rockets go up against David Robinson and the Spurs. Some of you will see the Bucks and the Hornets. Coming up next, the world premiere movie In the Line of Duty, Smoke Jumpers. West Coast viewers will see the show at 9 o'clock Pacific. For Matt Gukas, Steve Jones, Ahmad Rashad, Hannah Storm, and Jim Gray, I'm Marv Albert saying so long from San Antonio. This has been the NBA on NBC.